I saw this movie opening day 12 years ago in 2012. I would have been 21 years old while this movie was amazing. The movie theater was packed over 100 people. I barely had a place to sit. Me and my date I did not know or get her on a dating app. But we had to walk around for 10 minutes to find a place to sit. This movie is as its flaws entertaining. I thought the movie was too long. I had to go to the bathroom during the movie. Highly anticipated films. Because the more attention they draw, the more likely they are to be spoiled before you finally reach the comfort of your cinema seat. I often enter a self-imposed media ban in order to protect myself, but was that ever going to be enough for the most anticipated film of the year? On my way into the dark night rises, I passed a person coming out of a session that had just finished, and he had the biggest grin spread across his face. It didn't give away much, but it did show his appreciation for what he'd seen and heard. Maybe that's the best goal for this review, if you're as shy of spoilers as I am when The Dark Knight faded to black in 2008, Bruce Wayne had decided to allow his super alter ego to take the blame for several murderous crimes, and in particular the death of the district attorney Harvey Dent. Of course, Dent was in reality the violently disturbed Two-Face, but Bruce had concluded that a city needed a different sort of hero than him asked Vigilante if it was going to take responsibility for its own justice. However, peace cannot be built on a lie, and the curtain rises on a Gotham that is vulnerable to criminals again, because it doesn't know its own history. Director and writer Christopher Nolan has mined DC Comics archives to introduce the fearsome character of Bane, played by Tom Hardy. His physicality is more than a match for an aging Christian Bale, however it's not the only advantage he holds over the long-absent Batman. Bane serves a warped purpose, but he does so with a calmness that transcends fanaticism. He believes, in a way, that Batman no longer does. In fact, Bruce Wayne has not only embraced the life of Gotham Saga, he has built his life thereafter on a series of mysteries. It remains for Michael Caine, in the form of his conscience and confidant Alfred, to set him straight. What if we all stop trying to outsmart the truth and let it have this day? I know this means your hatred, but maybe that's worth it to save your life telling someone the truth is one mark of a true friend, not simply because honesty is the foundation of all lasting relationships, but in doing so I take the risk that they will rather reject us than listen to reason. The same could be said for a Christian every time they challenge the mistaken worldview, as much as it can for Alfred. But, in The Dark Knight Rises, we see a hero rise to the challenge of personal pain as much as the suffering of a city. What motivates a superhero? The master of plot twists, Nolan is not prepared to leave Batman and battle in against a single villain. Viewers should prepare themselves for not one, but two major surprises that will test the carbon fiber of the caped crusader. No doubt many people will mistake his response for courage, simply because we've lost the meaning of the work that really describes his actions, love. It's not that Batman is overcome with warm, fuzzy feelings every time he flies his Batcopter down a Gotham Street, look out for the one. It's his dogged determination to put someone else's welfare ahead of his own. Gary Oldman's commissioner Gordon tells newcomer Detective John Blake, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, that he hopes he comes to understand this level of sacrifice. One day I hope you have a friend who will plunge his hands into the filth so that you can keep yours clean as Blake learns to better understand Gotham's savior. Will Batman finally lay down his life for its citizens? These are questions that can be easily answered for the price of an admission ticket. But I hope you also pick up an appreciation for the deeper messages behind what you see and hear. The Dark Knight Rises contains enough action sequences, gadgets and insider references to ensure that almost three hours of film won't disappoint, and when you emerge again into the cold light of day you can dwell on the fact that the world has already seen Batman's level of love in action. Jesus took on an adversary more hellish than Bane when he delivered us from death. His love didn't look for a way out, but trusted his heavenly father would preserve him. However recognizing this real-life hero is still no easy task for us citizens of Gotham. It ends on us answering a question similar to the one Alfred posed to Bruce. Will we take refuge in a comfortable fantasy, or embrace the harder truth that we need a way out? Watching The Dark Knight Rises with your kids The Dark Knight Rises is a fair film for high school-aged kids, with little blood even in the face of significant physical violence. Try a couple of these questions to spark conversations on the way.